signing up for the military because I know my cat-like instincts would be very helpful in combat. Please tell me this is a joke. It's another week and the left is proving, yet again, how absolutely out of touch with reality they are. It's honestly embarrassing that the people highlighted in this week's episode are what the left thinks is a great representation of America. I'm Taryn Rose with MRC TV and Culture. You're watching Woke of the Week, where I expose the most woke, progressive, insane, and crazy content from the week, leftist mob. This week, we're taking a look at how the left seems to think that nuts is the new normal. For starters, this is apparently normal behavior from the White House, even when a war is percolating in the Middle East. Before we know it, KJP is going to start adopting moves like this nut. It's a different world Ooh, from where it come from. That one clearly doesn't have good posture, but you know who does? This they them. So earlier at the gym, I got told that I have good posture for a girl. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to be mad at that or if I'm supposed to feel affirmed. It's a little bit of both, to be honest. So I guess thanks but also leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, I'd be happy to leave you alone and I'd have no problem never hearing from you again, uh, sir? Same goes for this next, sir. I feel female and male. I feel both and neither one. And, and so many of the labels that we use in this area feel equally authentic and inauthentic. And, and I simply can't tell where one gender ends and another begins. Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. <laughs> Do we have to stick to, to penis and vagina norms? Can we have genitalia that look like flowers or, or abstract sculpture? You've, you've got to be kidding me. I sure do wish that transgender person was kidding, but unfortunately, I don't think he was. Just like I don't think this is a joke either. Ah, great. A teacher for toddlers is insisting she'll punch her coworker for not affirming her delusional sense of identity. That seems safe. Just like this woman's womb. I like to think of my uterus as the deep end of a pool at a water park. No children allowed. But if they end up there, they die. Yep, and the left still likes to say they're not part of some demonic cult and not after your kids. Puberty blockers are reversible and nobody is exactly <laughs> nobody is trying to put your kid under the knife bro at six years old at six years old you're not even going through puberty you could just let that kid live as whatever gender they want to be once it's time to go through puberty all you gotta do is give them a puberty blocker and, that's and it, it helps so much later down the road because they will pass exactly. so well. And then guess what? No need for top surgery. No need for any of that stuff mm -hmm. if they don't want it. Reminder, that's the kind of content that's being fed to kids on TikTok. Incorrect medical advice that could completely ruin and damage the lives of children. Children that would then likely end up like this. I'll be honest. I've been super lonely here in my kitten burrow. So I know a change of military scenery will do wonders to my kitty brain. I'm gonna be super nervous trying to sneak in my catnip because I heard it's banned in the military. What the heck? I don't care that it's banned though. I need my catnip to be the best in combat because I'm here to serve in meow for this country. Or end up like this. I'm your worst nightmare. <laughs> Sorry. I'm an Antifa super soldier, Heather. I've personally trans 74 children, Heather. I'm an endocrinologist in the bushes. Or end up like this. What is your sonin name and what is your species? Uh, my name is Kathy. I am a fat dragon. Do you feel like first eating has impacted your life at all? I think it has. It's something that makes me feel very like euphoric. Because it's just like nice to not be a person for a little bit, you know? Absolutely. Um, cool. Thank and, you so much. Uh, it's, so, it's so easy to make friends. It's great. 
I love it. While the left wants you to believe that those clips are what represents America, we need to stand firm in normalcy and fight back against this madness. While all the clips I show today seem like they're crowning achievements of a dystopian universe, they're unfortunately what we're dealing with in modern day America. While the media and the left are going to tell you that all that is normal, I'm here to slap you in the face, get you out of their hypnotic brainwashing, and let you know that that behavior is the furthest thing from normal. And that's your Woke of the Week. Check out our other work on mrctv.org and visit our social media pages while they're still up. We've got Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Rumble. And to help videos like this keep coming, visit mrc.org slash donate. Thanks for watching and see you next time. I want to invite you as my guest on a very special once in a lifetime seven day post election cruise in the Caribbean. Caribbean. It's going to be a blast.